2018 Honda Odyssey, New Car Review. If there's a more overtly family-oriented vehicle today than the 2018 Honda Odyssey, we haven't found it. There are no crossover pretenses to its design, no high fashion flourishes in its cabin, and it's even moved away from the driver-oriented dynamics of its predecessors. No, the Odyssey is unapologetically a minivan, a parenting tool as dedicated as a bugaboo stroller and a baby Bjorn. It's about the kids, not the driver. As such, the big news for this completely redesigned minivan is in the back. The second row seat has been re-engineered and dubbed the Magic Slide. As before, the middle seat that allows for eight passenger seating can be removed to create captain's chairs, but those remaining outboard seats can be slid inward in a variety of different ways not possible in other minivans. This may indeed be preferable to the Toyota Sienna and Kia Sedona's far-sliding second row, or the Chrysler Pacifica's still and go seats. There are also key infotainment additions, though like all minivans, it's important to note which trim levels feature them. The new cabin watch camera lets you keep an eagle eye on those in back, there's also a standard convex mirror that does a similar job, and the new cabin talk feature that allows those in front to do their best impression of an airline pilot over the rear speakers and wireless headphones. There's also additional USB ports, extra places to store handheld electronics and for those up front, a vastly superior new tech interface. Those are really just some of the new Odyssey's highlights. In short, it's a must-test drive, but to dig deeper, check out our long-term test. What's new for 2018? The Honda Odyssey minivan was completely redesigned for 2018. Although not fundamentally different than what it replaced, the key change is a higher quality cabin and clever new features to aid your parenting life. What we like Loads of parent and kid-friendly features, supremely comfortable ride, uniquely adjustable second row seats, safety tech standard on all but base trim. What we don't Second row seats don't slide as far back or fold into the floor, not as sharp to drive as past Odyssey generations, not as many USB ports as rivals. How much? $30,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000
the cabin control remote control app and an 8-inch display audio touchscreen interface that includes Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, satellite and HD radios and customizable feature settings. The XL, $37,500, adds a sunroof, a power lift gate, an acoustic windshield, first and second row leather upholstery, third row vinyl upholstery, driver memory functions, a leather wrapped steering wheel, an auto dimming rear view mirror and two additional USB ports in the second row. The XL is eligible for the Odyssey's only option, dubbed XLW slash Navi, Breeze. That includes a navigation system integrated into the display audio touchscreen and a rear seat entertainment system that includes a 10.2-inch ceiling mounted screen, a Blu-ray player, an HDMI input, built-in streaming apps and the cabin talk in car paw system that pipes the voices of mom and dad up front into the back, including through the Rees wireless headphones. The Touring, $44,600, adds LED headlights and fog lights, a hands-free power lift gate, front and rear parking sensors, the Honda Vac integrated vacuum, third row sunshades, in-car Wi-Fi, the cabin watch rear row camera monitor and everything from the XLW slash Navi slash Rees package. The range topping Elite, $46,800 gains 19-inch wheels, automatic wipers, power folding mirrors, acoustic front and rear door glass, a heated steering wheel, ventilated front seats, wireless smartphone charging and an 11-speaker sound system. Safety Every Odyssey comes with anti-lock brakes, stability control, front side airbags and three-row side curtain airbags. All but the base LX trim includes forward collision warning and automatic emergency braking, lane departure warning and steering assist, blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic warning systems and automatic high beams. The government gave the 2018 Odyssey top 5 star crash scores for overall, front and side protection. The non-profit Insurance Institute for Highway Safety named it a top safety pick for its best possible scores in all crash tests plus crash prevention tech and latch ease of use. Its acceptable headlight rating also contributed to the award. Behind the Wheel The Odyssey used to be the most car-like minivan to drive, often compared to a big Accord. That's no longer the case, as the latest Odyssey ultimately focuses on providing a supremely quiet, comfortable and isolating transportation experience. Steering in particular is light in effort and feedback, and not especially indicative of other Hondas. For some, this should be good news, for others seeking a less overtly minivan-like driving experience, competitors might be a better call. Now, every Odyssey has the same engine, but it's important to test drive multiple trim levels as the Touring and Elite feature a different transmission. It has 10 speeds, features an impressively well-executed automatic stop, start system and we suspect it will do a better job reacting to driver inputs than the 9-speed unit found in lower trims. That transmission in the Honda Pilot was a constant source of frustration during our long-term test. We haven't sampled it in the Odyssey yet, so again, paying attention during a test drive is recommended. In terms of the Odyssey's interior, the word driver-focused never comes to mind. The overall design is very van-like up front, but overall materials quality is greatly improved from its plastic white predecessor, and Honda's latest touchscreen interface is a massive improvement over what's in the Pilot. It's not only easy to use but it's available with more features like cabin talk and cabin watch, which let you better communicate and keep an eye on the little ones in the back. Other cars to consider 2018 Chrysler Pacifica We also had a long-term Pacifica and loved it so much we didn't want to turn over the keys. It has its own unique set of clever, family-friendly features that you might prefer over the Odysseys, especially in terms of the second-row seat. 2018 Kia Sedona, the Sedona doesn't have quite as many toys as its rivals, but its design and driving experience is a little less overtly minivan-like, which should count for a lot with many drivers.
We also like how far its second row seats slide compared to those in the Odyssey and Pacifica. 2018 Toyota Sienna, the Sienna is the old man in the group, but an influx of tech for 2018 helps keep it competitive. Its far sliding second row seats, strong engine and sharp handling say trim level are standouts. Used Honda Odyssey, do you want the toys found on the upper trim levels? but your budget is restricting you to the lower trims? Well, why not consider a used Odyssey? The previous generation doesn't have all those toys, but most of them are still present and you really won't be giving up that much in most other respects. Auto Trader's Advice Skip the base LX. If a low price is that important, it's probably smarter to a get a used Odyssey. Otherwise, the X provides such an abundance of extra equipment for the money that it's really the best deal and should easily satisfy both your needs and wants. And sure, clever items like the Honda Vac and Cabin Watch are appealing, but they're also restricted to the top two trims that start about $10,000 more.